What is up everybody? My name is Noah Banks, also known as the Millennial Health Coach, where I help millennials like you hack your busy lifestyle to live happier, healthier lives. And today we're gonna be going over the five easy ways to put on muscle. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so five ways to gain muscle. Around two weeks ago, I put up a video about the five ways to lose weight, and I got a lot of comments saying, well, Noah, I'm actually trying to gain muscle. I'm trying to gain a little bit of weight to get it a little bit more full. And some people are like, hey, I just want to put on more muscle. So I wanted to make this video just for you. So the first easy way to put on muscle is to eat more. When I mean eat more, this means you got to be seriously eating. So you got to be one, you got to be eating enough food to have energy to kill it at your workouts. And then when you're killing it at your workouts, you also need some food after those workouts to be helping your body recover and grow. So what are the two major food groups for this? You might have guessed, one is carbs. I know it seems so scary, everybody's like, I wanna stay away from carbs, I don't wanna have any. You're making a mistake. Carbs are your main source of energy. Now granted, you wanna do good carbs, you wanna make sure you're staying within the complex carbs. So you're like your whole wheat, your brown rice, your potatoes, really good carbs. So not cakes, cookies, all that that's not gonna help you get good energy. And then the second aspect, after you've already had those carbs to fuel your workout, you've already finished your workout, it's done, you actually have to fill it up with protein afterward. And protein is the main source of calories to help you actually build more muscle. And that's because protein is basically all of your muscle. Your muscles need them to help recover and grow. The second easy way to put on some more muscle is to really focus on compound movements. When you work in compound movements, your body is forcing your whole system to grow. And another key tip is to really focus those compound movements on the lower body. So think about like your squats, your deadlifts, your lunges. If you really focus on those three movements, you really put on some size and that's because really your butt and your legs are the biggest muscle groups in your body. So if you're working them out, really hard, trust me, you gotta grow because your body's like, I need to recover. So the third easy way to put on some muscle, it might be a little bit surprising, is to actually dial back on the cardio. So that means no doing the five days a week, running for 30 to 45 minutes. That's not gonna help you, you're gonna be losing weight and I'm telling you, you're not gonna be retaining any type of muscle. My suggestion is to stick your cardio into two to three days a week because you know what? You also wanna make sure you have a good heart. So I'm not saying don't run, don't do any type of cardio because you're gonna need it. What I am saying is to do the type of cardio that helps you preserve muscle while also burning fat at the same time. And this is what's gonna be the HIT workouts, the high intensity training workouts. And the reason why this is important is because you're doing it in short circuit rounds. So it's making sure you're not going for a long time, burning a carb storage, then the next thing you know, you're just bones. You don't want to just be bones, right? So make sure that you dial back on the cardio, maybe six to two to three days a week for the high intensity training workouts. You can do eight to nine round circuits and I promise you, you'll be good. Easy way number four to put on some muscle is to rest. You gotta recover. A lot of people don't understand that you actually build muscle during recovery, not during workouts. In fact, when you're working out, you're tearing down your muscle. When you rest, you allow your muscles to one, recover from what they already just did, and then they grow even more to be able to adapt to a better weight and a stronger weight next time. Rest is extremely important when it comes to gaining muscle. So make sure you're getting your seven to eight hours of sleep. This is something I really needed to learn how to do. I was getting five to six hours of sleep and I wasn't growing at all because I wasn't letting my body fully recover. I was working it out then working out again. It's like, chill, let me grow. You know, let your muscles grow. So you gotta give time to rest. This also is very important for your workouts in general. You wanna make sure that your workouts are staying under an hour. You don't need to be in the gym more than an hour. If you are, you're going to be burning way more than your carbs. You're going to be digging into your muscle. And you don't want to be digging into your muscle. You want to be growing your muscle. I like to ideally keep them in for 35 to 45 minutes. And this is perfect because as busy professionals, we only have around 35 to 45 minutes anyway. The fifth easy way to putting on some muscle is to track and adjust. People overestimate how much they're eating. Like, oh, you know what? Um, I ate two cups of rice when you really ate like a handful, which is like, half a serving, which is like half a cup. You wanna make sure you're accurately tracking what you're eating, what you're putting in your body, what weights you're lifting. You wanna make sure that you're increasing your weights, getting stronger, getting bigger. And when you do those two consistently and you see over time, then you see how your body starts to change. You see how your body adjusts. You know, you weigh yourself one week, you're like, all right, I'm down a pound, so maybe I need to lift up my calories just a tad bit more. Or let's say that you're like, all right, I'm looking a little bit fluffy, you know, I'm losing my cut a little bit. Then you die down a little bit. 
The whole idea is to make sure that you're tracking and then adjust where needed. So I usually tell people after you track around two to three weeks, then adjust, right? Whether that's adjusting your diet or your workouts, whether that's scaling back cardio, lifting the weights, or whether that's adding meals or taking away meals. So those are the five easy ways to gaining muscle. One, you have to eat more. Two, you have to do compound lifts. Three, you have to dial back down on the cardio. Four, get some rest, recover, and then five, track and adjust. And if you do these five things, I promise you, you'll be gaining muscle in no time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have one question. What is your biggest struggle when it comes to gaining muscle? Is it your food? Is it the training? Is it the rest? Let me know in the comment box below. If you like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button at the bottom to keep up to date with my upcoming videos. And guess what? I'll catch y'all later. Embrace the hype.